and welcome back to Let's Play Sakuna of Rice and Ruin. Alright, so we're in our third offshoot stage, so it's time to drain the rice, but um... It's still raining. So I'm not sure how well this is actually going to work, but we might as well give it a try. I'll let some water out of the so we'll let the rice drain and quote-unquote dry out, I guess. Anyways, while the rice is growing, we should probably get going. Actually, not before we go. Here we go. How is the rice doing right now? Okay, we have a little bit of blight. That's fine. It's a bit spindly because of the lack of sun. And we have some damage from insects because we don't have ducks to deal with them. Great. You know what? Like I said, this rice crop is basically here to try to bridge the gap between now and when we can fix everything. So that's fine. Alright, speaking of fixing everything, we still have a bunch of bounties we need to go grab, so let me see here. What's left? Okay, so we have some mountain ones we need to grab, and then we're going to head over to the fort. I'm going to save the fort for last, though, because that area is still kind of tough. So let's go grab a few. Actually, before we go, let's see. Kaimaru, go grab more stuff. I'm just going to send people everywhere at this point. There's nothing I'm really specifically looking for. Actually, no, you probably shouldn't go there. Uh, just go to the plane. Why not? Maybe get us a bit of food. Alright, so where are we? Right. We're gonna go see if we can go grab ourselves some more bounties. Let's see. I have my Katsumi mask on, right? Yep. Now, I need to remember where the bounty is hidden on this stage. Nope. Let's also try not to get smacked in the face by rocks. You know, if we could. But yeah, once we're done with getting all the bounties, then I think we'll be good enough to actually go take on the mini-boss that was just unlocked. At some point, we do need to move on to the main storyline, though. Because here's the thing, bounties alone won't fix everything. They'll get rid of mo- oh god. They'll get rid of most of the pollution, but in order to fully get rid of everything, we're gonna need to basically fight some bosses. Fortunately, they're a bit weaker than, like, the main bosses we've been fighting, because the game does realize that you're pretty much nerfed at this point. It's not that cruel. That would absolutely suck if it was that cruel, though, but no. We should be able to- actually, honestly, we could probably take on the bosses right now if we want to. In fact... I might at least go take on the first boss that was unlocked- oh god. We might as well fit. I might go take on the first boss that was unlocked before we head to the fort. Because as much as I want to get all the bounties beforehand, there's like one stage in the fort in particular that I'm thinking of that's going to be kind of dangerous. Because it involves nighttime travel, and, uh, ooh, I don't want to get hit one night right now. That would pretty much one shot me, probably. Anyways, where is the bounty on the stage? Is that the end? I think it's at the- Oh wait, no, it's around here somewhere. Is it above me? It might be above me. Wait. I think it is above me. Yep, there it is. Got it. Eh, luck. Well, better than nothing, I guess. Alright, let's go check out the falls. Oh, does have a strike weapon on me, actually? While we're doing this... Oh, yeah, my one-hand weapon is a strike weapon now. While we're doing this, we might as well try to get that mission done. Even though I think at this point we're pretty much done having to grind exploration stars. Like, I don't think any new areas will now require us to explore anymore. Most of the uh, upcoming areas are pretty much just story areas now. Also, does it even count? That does... Not count. Great. Oh, well. I guess I could just use my basic attacks in that case instead of using my uh, specials. Especially since I don't have the SP pool to really do that. Oh, also, I probably shouldn't be in the water. I kind of forgot. The water here hurts, because, you know, sulfur. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's the heat that hurts more than the sulfuric uh, water. Isn't, like... Isn't, like, hot spring water supposed to have some sulfur in it? I don't know if that's supposed to be good for you or not. Don't be surprised. Can we move on now? We can move on now. 
Alright, so I need to remember where the bounty is on this one. I'm still hoping for SP bounties, but I'm pretty sure the SP bounties are hidden behind mini bosses. So we're probably not going to be getting any SP bounties for a while. I know the strength bounties are hidden behind those, like, story bosses. Actually, wait, do I have to fight you? No, I don't have to fight you. Why am I fighting you? Oh, actually, what's our money situation at? 10,000? Or 11,000? Not bad. We're fine. Alright, so I'm glowing. Where is it? Is it up here? I think it's above me. Wait, is it above me? No, I think it's actually below... Okay, no, it's below me somewhere. Oh, it's right there. Fullness. Eh. I guess that's not bad, to be honest. Fullness will let us explore more. Also, wait one second. Have we not done any of the missions here? Oh, I guess we haven't. Well, whatever. Alright, where is it? I'm glowing already, so it's really close right now. It is... Oh, I need to beat the enemies before I can move forward, right? I guess I should probably beat these enemies anyways. One of my missions was to kill, like, what, 30 enemies? Unfortunately, with our, like, undead, or what, the undead Bane power, we can get rid of Spectres really easily. Still don't drop any meat, though. So, unfortunately, we'll probably be going without meat for a little while until I can get some more food. In fact, now that I think about it, we might be short on meat for a while. Because I think we're also going to be facing a lot of Spectres just based on, like, what's happening on the island right now. You know, the whole unleashing a evil god kind of, like, really pissed off all the undead on the island. It's fine. We'll deal with them later. Also, can we move on yet? No, not yet. I cannot hit you for some reason. There we go. Uh, magic. Oh, actually, that's not bad. So yeah, it looks like, let's see, what do we have here? Skill pollution is the most annoying one because that limits my SP pool. Health pollution isn't terrible. We got our vitality back for the most part, so that kind of offsets the uh, super low health. Strength one is kind of annoying because it just reduces the amount of damage we can do in overall. Actually, you know what? Hmm. I'm debating if I want to maybe try... This is the one I know we can't get right now. I think we might give one of them a try. We're going to have to be really careful, though. Especially since I don't have food buffs anymore. Alright, so let's find that... I can't move forward. Oh, no, I can't move forward without killing the enemies. Let's keep going until I start glowing. Is it down here? No, it's not down here. It's fine, I just have to avoid all enemies. Is it at the end? It might be at the end. Because so far I'm not getting any readings. Oh wait, wait, hold on. I'm getting something. Oh wait, I lost it. Uh, oh wait, no, no, wait. It's, start it's getting stronger. Okay, yeah, we are going the right way. Okay, yeah, you know what? We're gonna come back here later. Uh, let's just head back for now. That kind of really hurt. Probably shouldn't be doing that without at least some food buffs. Also, wait, did the rain stop? Oh my god, the rain actually stopped. Nice, perfect, just in time. Oh wait, did we pray? Wait, hold on, did we pray for a dry weather? I don't remember anymore. It's been a little while since I last recorded. We might have prayed for dry weather. When there are too many stocks, it diminishes the yield. Perhaps I should let out some water? Also, my rice is slightly offside in terms of staff. That's fine. Too many stocks, it 
the aesthetic is surprisingly also, low. Some... Also, did I not? I didn't spread fertilizer, did I? Whoops. That's fine. We have tomorrow. Uh, let's get some fertilizer made for tomorrow then. All right, like usual, I'm just gonna make sure I pump stuff into the soil. Good enough. It's not gonna be perfect until we fix everything, but this is basically here just to make sure it doesn't die. All right, let's get all the bounties in there, and I guess a little bit of rotten food. Well, like I said, I don't really. Mm, this ri this rice is actually gonna turn into brown rice. Is it even worth it to really, like, pump snaps into it yet? You know what? Probably not. I'm gonna wait until we can get the soil back to normal first. Yeah, we're definitely gonna wait for, uh, adding, like, all of our good stat items. Wait, were those not added? Oh, I didn't actually add them. Whoops. There. Alright, so that'll be spread tomorrow to get the soil back to normal and to get some more bounties in the soil. Oh, I guess no one's back yet. It's still, like, late in the afternoon. One minute. Let's just rest. Is it rest? Rest for, like, three hours. Anything good? Iron. Food. Okay, you brought back food. Oh, you brought back vitality. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Nice. Uh... Uh, oh. I tried to go inside, but the game met me, made me pet a cat. I thought I had somehow glitched out of bounds, but nope, it was just a cat. Alright, so let's get some dinner. Because tomorrow we are going to head up to, where is it? I think we're going to go face that, like, story boss that was unlocked a little while ago. So let's make sure we actually have some good food. Alright, so what do I need right now? I need SP. I want something that boosts my SP. We don't have any soup ingredients yet. Vitality and strength went... Ooh, actually, you know what? HP also wouldn't be bad. Oh, actually, that's perfect. Uh, what else can we get? Not... Natto? Do I want Natto? Actually, no, I don't. Ooh, eel steamed rice might be good, though. That gives me a bit more SP. And I guess... Eh, sure. Renowned uh, spring water. Why not? Time to eat. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of fire resistance, actually. Also, I learned a new uh, Raymond skill. Nice. All right, so let's add a bit more water. And let's see. Let's add some water. And I learned a new Raymond skill. Which one is this one? This one is... Soul Transfer. Ooh, that one actually might be a good one to equip. The only problem is the SP cost. We're gonna need to level, we're gonna need to level this one up if we're gonna really be using it though. Hmm. Okay, you know what? Let's equip that. What can I get rid of? Toxic Crown. Actually, do I want... Yeah, Toxic Crown. We don't want Toxic Crown. Okay, I think we're good now. This might be our final setup. Maybe I'll give it a Thundering Magnitude because I keep forgetting I have it. I should probably actually use this at some point. I completely forgot I even had this equipped. I just use Swallow Strike so much. It's just kind of... You know. It's just kind of really, really, really good. Okay, so let's get the water up. Oh, also let me get my fertilizer spread. Also, fullness pollution, completely gone. Our stomach is back to normal. Also, we are literally only missing one magic point. Yeah, now that all these debuffs are actually pretty good. Well, they're not terrible except for SP, strength, and HP. Those are the three I really need to take care of. Also, we have gust of pollution, but that barely affects me. Alright. Why is the water not going up? Oh, duh. I forgot to close the outside gate. There we go. Alright, so let's get the water up to like around... I want to say around 30% would be good here. 
So get the water up and then we'll get going. I filled it with some water. There we go. Yeah, don't worry, we know what we're doing at this point. We for the most part. How's the rice doing, by the way? Well, that's rice blight. Great. Actually, we can fix that right now. We do have, like, a ton of powder transformation. Oh, wait, which one? Which medicine is good for blight, though? Uh, let me see here. I'm pretty sure we can... Yeah, we can definitely mix this up. Because I just remembered. The only thing we really put in the old fertilizer were the bounties, which already took effect. Alright, rice blight. Which is a type of mold, by the way. It's what uh, killed all the potatoes in Ireland that one time. Anyways, this is literally only... Oop, nope. This is literally only for the medicine I need. So, Blight. I believe Blight is eradicating. Because we want to get rid of this mold. Well, technically it's a fungus. Same thing. Alright, so we'll let that soak in and get rid of the Blight for me. Uh, let me make sure I can't make any new weapons yet. Want me to make something? Nope, not yet. Alright, let's get going. Oh, also before we go... Kaimaru, we need more fertilizer materials. Just go anywhere and just grab whatever you can. Actually, wait. I think the one we're low on are... Oh, wait, this is perfect. Manure. Ah! Go grab some manure, Yui. I'm leaving now. Kinta, I guess you can just head to the mines. You can't make anything new right now, but you might as well just go do something. And Murta, as usual, go get more salt. I go now. All right. Shall we? Let's, uh... Go take a look at the Grove of Everlasting Doom. Sorry, Everlasting Gloom. That's less bad. Alright, so we're a lot stronger than the first time we tried to come here. So this shouldn't be as bad. We'll still want to be careful, though. We're still a little bit on the frail side because we have that huge amount of, like, uh, health pollution. But fortunately, since we got our vitality up, we won't be taking as much damage. And the enemies around here are weaker than what they are at the fort, which is why I kind of want to do this before we go back to the fort. Our lowered strength also makes the uh, time to kill enemies a bit lower. Oh, also there's poison here, I forgot! There's also treasure somewhere around here. One sec, where is this treasure? Oh, I think it's below me, actually. Let's get out of the poison. Poison does not care about my vitality, it only cares about my health. Which is low right now. Powder transformation and fish mint. Well, the mint will be helpful. We have a ton of powder transformation already, but eh, more isn't bad. Also, you know what? This might be a mis- actually, no, I want- mm, I want to keep the Katsune mask on so I can tell where chests are. You know what? We'll be fine. We just need to be super, super careful here. There's also a chest I missed somewhere back there. Also, maybe we should have eaten. Okay, yeah, you know what? Maybe we should have eaten for a uh, poison. Okay, I kind of forgot just how much poison is in this area. Maybe we should switch mass when we get the chance. Yeah, I definitely should have eaten for poison. I forgot about that. Oh. That would have made this area a lot more... Well, a lot less terrible. It's fine, we'll get along. We just need to be careful, switch up our mask, and uh, probably make sure we let our health regen before we head back into the poison. Anyways, I want to make sure I grab as much treasure as possible, though. Because, yeah, once we fix the soil, we're going to have so much stuff to put in the fertilizer. Oh, hello there. You are not allowed to be here. Oh yeah, we can also start draining the health of our enemies now. So we do have a way to heal in battle. It's not a very efficient way to do it, and I almost never... Oh god, that's fair. And I almost never use it, because... You know, 
I would rather use that SP just to deal damage, but hey, if we need like emergency health, we can drain it now. Not very much yet though. We need to level up that skill before we can really do much with it. Also, yeah, the lower strength is definitely starting to show here. We're barely doing any damage to this bear right now. I say we immediately wipe it out. Also, was there a point to that? Nope, apparently not. I didn't unlock anything. Guess we're hanging down then. Also, yeah, you know what? I'll worry about getting the treasure maybe some other time. Let's, uh... Not the hat. Let's make sure we get rid of this poison damage. Or at least lower it as much as possible. Okay, I know there was powder transformation the other way, but I don't really care about that right now. I want to see what's over here. Also, now that we're out of the poison... Hmm. Oh god, I'm in the poison again. Get me out, get me out, get me out. I'm fine. There's treasure above me, isn't there? Wait, is there? I can't grapple up there, so I'm guessing not. I, yeah, I can't grapple up there. It might be down here, actually. Poison. Don't worry about me, I'm just gonna quickly get through this area. Okay, we're good now. Uh, is there a treasure over here? There's treasure somewhere around here. Found it! Ooh! Wait. Oh, with that mask! Ooh, do I want this though? So this mask can be really good if you're rich. Because, yeah, basically you can use Amber as health. But the problem is, this can really burn through your Amber. And you earn less of it while using it, so, mm, We still kind of need some amber just for the soil and the, uh, weather changing, so... Probably not going to be using that one for now. That might be good for later in the game. Once we're, like, kind of set on our rice and our soil. But yeah, for now, let's, uh... God, I missed so much treasure. One minute. There's at least one treasure around here I looks like I can grab. What is it? It is... Oh, Elder Elm. Oh yeah, that was our objective. I completely forgot about that. I think we can craft some new stuff with that later. Also, it's raining. Oh, it's raining again. Okay, you know what? We'll be sure to go back at some point and just check the weather. Actually, I should probably start praying for dry weather soon. The rice is going to be ready in a day or two. Anyway, so we're uh, in part two of the Grove of Everlasting Gloom. You know what? I think we'll finish this next time. I should probably head back and eat for some poison resistance before going back. Oh wait, did we get any fishmen out of that? We did. Perfect. Let's head back for now then. Here, before I forget, I'm going to go do a prayer. I'm going to ask for some dry weather going forward just to make sure that our rice can dry in time. Because we only have, what, three days left until uh, winter gets here? Let's make sure our rice doesn't die and freeze. Oh, hey! Berserk! What does this do? It... Berserk. Where is Berserk? No flinching. That's actually not bad, to be honest. Hmm. I don't know if it's worth putting on compared to everything else. Also, I think we just unlocked new ability. Oh, yeah, we did. We can kill undead even faster now. Alright, so let's uh, quickly pray for some dry weather going forward. Here we go. Please give me dry weather. I accept. Alright, so hopefully the weather will start drying out in the next couple of days so the rice can dry and not die. So, I think we'll wrap things up here then. So next time on Let's Play uh, Sakuna Rice and Ruin, we're going to head back to the uh, Grove. So, till then.